everybody. Welcome back to the Garage Griller Studios. I'll be your host, Jesse Lang. What's going on? So I got a really cool project here. I got this little $20, well it was 20 bucks on Marketplace. I don't know if it's a good deal or not, but I thought it'd be really fun. This little Miller High Life Camping Picnic Grill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make slow smoked pork ribs, uh, baby backs in this case, slow smoked baby backs on this little grill that you might have something similar in your garage or in your attic and you don't think it's worth nothing. Well, let's give it a shot. So how I'm gonna do it is, oh, oh hold on, follow me down here. So how I'm gonna do it is I got it all formed out for you. First, I used a, I rolled up some tin foil, maybe about 24 inches worth. I rolled it up real loosely to create this heat barrier and to hold the snake in place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light maybe, you know, floor charcoal, put it on this side and adjust the, um, the vent over there so the smoke kind of swirls and makes its way out. The tin foil and then I, I don't know, these trays, I just kind of bent it to fit. I'm gonna put hot water in there and, uh, and then when we put the grate on, I'm just gonna add wood as I need it. I don't know how much it's gonna smoke, but I definitely don't want a lot of smoke. So I'll just set wood on here, take it off if I got too much, and <clears throat> kind of fine tune it. All right, back up to me. All right, for the temp, obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit a thermometer in there. There's just no space to get an actual good readout. So I'm gonna use this infrared thermometer. These things are cheap, you guys. They work great. You pull the button, you point and shoot. When we're talking barbecue, we don't need it spot on. So just get a cheap one of these, you'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. For the meat, I froze some pork baby back ribs. I bought a three pack from Sam's Club. And here's my ribs. They look goofy, you wanna know why? Because I learned this awesome trick from Barbecue Smokers Grilling Techniques and Recipes. It's a group on Facebook that I follow. Really, really informative and you learn lots of stuff from them. Um, in the past, this bone right here would split through the vacuum ceiling and it would lose its vacuum. So. What you do is you wrap the ribs in butcher paper and slide them in there. They slide in and out much easier. Same thing with other types of meat that just doesn't want to pack in there. Wrap it in butcher paper. It makes everything much cleaner. You don't get all that slime on the vacuum seal. So that was a great tip. Um, check out Barbecue Smokers Grilling Techniques and Recipes. It's hosted by Back River Barbecue, an awesome community page. You guys check it out. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, I'm gonna do screenshots and short little clips throughout the cook and at the end we'll cut them open. Hey, thanks and please wait till the end. I want to see if these things turn out and I hope you do too. Everybody, we're back. I seasoned the grill real good. I had a little bit of an issue trying to fit that huge rack of ribs in here. I want to show you another trick I learned from that Back River Barbecue group. And when you don't have space, see how they're kind of puffed up in the middle here? If you look, and I'll bring you down closer, I use wood chunks, different sizes, and I just put it underneath there to prop them up a little bit, kind of fold them a little bit so that there'd be a little bit more space. Here, I'll bring it down to show you. Hopefully this works out. I was not expecting this to be such a small grill or whatever. So here's what we got. We'll clean her up and I'll bring it back. I just wanted to point out one last thing here. When you're cooking on something so small, it's very important to rotate uh, your food so that it cooks evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rotate it real quick here. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna help the meat cook evenly. So, all right, we'll, we'll catch you back when the stuff's done. This was such a fun uh, cook for me using this little grill, trying to make things work. It's not obviously meant for this type of thing, but I think everything turned out really well. Um, 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the last part. But I'm gonna, I got my gloves on. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and we'll get an up close. See, I, I rotated, remember? I rotated the grill for more even cooking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick these ribs up. They're not really, they're not really doing the best. So we're not sure, I don't know if you can see that. There ain't much of a bend there at all. So I don't know if that means they're not done, but I started getting ash on the outside of them and the bones are starting to poke through. It's dripping pretty good. So uh, maybe, maybe they won't be perfect, but we'll have to cut into them to know for sure. Here's the other one. Now this one here, the fat rack, the fat side, I eat that it's got ash on it, but what, what are you gonna do? Um, the fat side, I put celery seed on it. The other side, I did. Both of them seasoned with salt and pepper. I used barbecue sauce, brown sugar, and butter in the foil. And everything else was just the 2-2-1 method, which came out to a little longer because it was hard to, to get this little grill up to temperature, so I had to do a little bit longer for each step. Um, other than that, they look great. We'll let them cool down a little bit and we'll cut in. Hey y'all, we're back. We're gonna cut into these things. Made on the Facebook Marketplace Miller High Life Grill. Seem to be cutting nice. Now this one, I did not use any celery seed. Zero celery seed. Let's take a look. There is a smoker. Ooh, it smells good too. I don't know if we can see any juice here. Hold on. Not too much. Yeah, it's juicy. It's also really gooey on top. I did use some barbecue sauce. Now let's cut into the celery seed. Okay, right around the first. Celery seed. There it is. Is there a difference in the smoke ring? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's put them right, put it right on top of one another. Celery seed is on the bottom. I'm not seeing much of a difference. I think that this test would really be good on a brisket because brisket enhances that smoke ring so much. So on the bottom, we use celery seed on the top. We did not. Now let's try the bite. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a bite out of this right here. Let's see how the bite is. It's probably pretty hot yet. That's pretty good. That's damn good. Now, I'm gonna dissect this a little bit. Let's see how tender the meat is. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna... You know what? Yeah. Can you see that or no? I'm gonna break away. We had a good bite. The rib pulls out. And we had just a fantastic bite. And the rib is pulling out nice and tender. Let's try it again. Let's give it a bite. You know what, folks? I don't know if I've ever had a rib this good. Look at that bite. Look at the tenderness. Still peels off, but it's still stuck on there. This is a fantastic quality product, everybody. There's the bite from before. And I made this, I made these ribs on a $20. I mean, that's Marketplace. I don't know what you get. You probably get that a lot cheaper. $20 cooker I got off of Marketplace, shaped in a Miller High Life thing. And let me, I don't know which ones those were. If those were the celery seed ones or not, we could match it up. So those were the non-celery, no, those were the celery seed ones. Let's try the other ones here. 
I just want to see if I can taste it. God, that, that's good. And there's quite a smoke ring on there, too. Same bite. What a wonderful. I tell you what, that celery seed adds a lot to the flavor. I'm definitely going to be putting that in all my rubs. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me. I hope you found this video useful. I really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and that like button. And uh, come check me out. Um, I'm all over. I am all over the group. Uh, barbecue, smokers, grilling techniques, and recipes hosted by Back River Barbecue. Check them out too. Subscribe. Hit the like button. What else, Bria? Subscribe. Comment below. I know I got a lot of subscribers who are also YouTubers. Let me know how I can improve this video. All right. Thanks a lot, y'all.